Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires Definitive Edition, the Rise of Rome campaign, and uh, we'll be jumping into the sixth mission here, Mithridates. Mithridates, the cunning king of Pontus, has expanded his kingdom on the Black Sea coast at the expense of Rome's allies in Anatolia. Claiming descent from both Alexander and the Persian king Cyrus the Great, he has incited the Greeks and Easterners to rebel against our interests. He has even forged an alliance with the mighty Tigranes, king of Artaxiad Armenia. The Senate is dispatching you with the legions to restore our eastern domains and humble this so-called king of kings. So our task is to destroy the wonder of Pontus. Pontus sorry. Weaken the defenses of your enemy by sea to establish a safe landing ground. Concentrate solely on the mission. Complete conquest is unlikely. Pontus was a Persian kingdom based on the Black Sea coast of northeast Anatolia and heavily, inf heavily influenced by the Hellenic culture predominant in the Near East following Alexander's conquests. Founded by Mithridates I in 281 BCE, the kingdom saw its greatest extent under Mithridates VI who is incidentally also called the Great, apparently. Um, anyway, who conquered most of the Anatolian Peninsula and nearly the entire Black Sea coastline. The ambitious Mithridates VI was a rival and opponent of Rome throughout his reign, fighting three distinct wars known as the Mithridatic Wars against the Romans from 89 BCE to 63 BCE. Portraying himself as a successor to both Alexander and the Persian king Cyrus the Great, Mithridates leveraged otherwise disparate cultural heritage to his advantage, uniting both Greek cities and eastern kingdoms such as Armenia in opposition to Roman rule and eastward expansion. The in the first Mithridatic war, Mithridates was defeated in Greece by the armies of the Roman consul Sulla. Sulla offered the Pontic king moderate peace terms as the consul was embroiled in a conflict with his rival Marius for control of Rome and was eager to return to the city with his legions. These moderate terms allowed Mithridates to rearm and re-equip his military. The official Sulla left behind Lincinius Murena invaded Pontus soon after to hinder the kingdom's militarization efforts, igniting the Second Mithridatic War. But peace was soon restored on Sulla's order. A decade later, Rome attempted to annex the client kingdom of Bithynia in Anatolia. Mithridates attacked, beginning the Third Mithridatic War. The Roman general Pompey defeated Mithridates, forcing the king to flee with his surviving army past the Caucasus Mountains to the Crimea, on the north coast of the Black Sea, where his son, Macaris, ruled as viceroy. After Macaris refused to aid his father with troops, Mithridates had him killed and took control of his son's realm. In 63 BCE, another son, Parnassus, led a coup against his father, Mithridates withdrew to his citadel, where his attempt at suicide by poisoning is said to have failed due to his habit of taking daily precautionary antidotes. Whether this story is true or not, Mithridates did not survive his son's coup. Pompey, meanwhile, fresh of his victory over Pontus, led his army into Syria and Judea, where he captured Jerusalem and made the Jewish kingdom a satellite state of Rome. Okay, so um, yeah, why well, I don't know why you're going there to be honest. I mean, that's that's kind of unfortunate. I'm gonna be honest. Not the best start here. Okay. I've lowered the game speed a bit here because this first part here we want to try and have as much control um, over our units as possible. Uh, 
gonna set you to whatever that is. No, absolutely not. Okay, so we want to kind of camp down here. To make sure that we can... Uh, take advantage of the extra firepower that we have here with the bolts. Oh, oh that's very unfortunate, that is. Bro, you're not being serious right now. How? How can this be? That's a bit unfortunate, that is. Okay. Uh, we don't have that many troops left here, which is... Uh, again, very, very unfortunate, but, um... Where is this guy? Okay. Yeah, it's time for us to, um, to embark here. And we are going to the north. Hopefully we killed enough of Yellow's troops here to make it less annoying. See if we can uh, get up here. Yeah, this is. I don't think we can do anything about this, honestly. No, come on, dude. Why? Why? It's extremely easy here to uh, to lose this map early. So you just lose too many troops here in the beginning or whatever. Um, it's pretty frustrating if I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I want to harass here a bit. So I want to make sure that this cavalry here is actually coming to us. Yeah, no. Not gonna happen, dude. This time, I kinda learned from my mistakes. 
behind though. Okay, we have this here. But I need to destroy as quick as possible. No. Okay. gonna conclude that this is a kinda okay landing so far and we are going to land the villagers here snipe some villagers from them at this point. I don't know if they're going to be interested in this transport particularly. They're very interested in these. That's fine. I think we landed like last second here. Fortunately, I'd like to make sure that these villagers actually survive, right? Let's see if we can make that happen. Kind of fine. <clears throat> so Brown has a village up here. Um, I'm going to relieve him of the land that he has here. Going to group up a little bit here before we go. Like especially the, the villagers here. The only thing really is these towers are kind of kind of annoying and then then we are like inside his base, right? Going to make sure that we um help him here. I don't know what kind of resources he has, but um, they're definitely mine now. Okay, good. house here as well please just to make sure that um, we can't build any any villagers anyway oh that's that's unfortunate we're gonna make sure that that doesn't do more damage to my infantry here I don't care that much about the um, the tower, to be honest. OK. 
Okay. Oh, that's... It's unfortunate. <clears throat> Apparently wood is the uh, resource that we're really, really lacking here. Well, good for me. The, um... The tower is definitely annoying him enough, right? Okay. We'll be building a bunch of villagers here. Particularly care that much. That's fine. Gonna need another house here. Well, if we can avoid it, we don't need to lose this tower, right? Keeps annoying them and keeps their focus on that tower. Which I like. Yeah, we've... Already spent the food that we had. I think the stone that we have access to is gonna be over here. Honestly, I think we probably want to start mining this stone as soon as possible. If we can. So I need to rely on these towers heavily for defense right now, I think. Also, I'm not really in a good position to lose any villagers right now. That goes down easy. Okay, I think just because we do this. I think we go back to the normal game speed that I'm playing at. for you. That's fine. Okay. Let's send them in here to, um, to deal with this. bit tired of, uh, of brown now, but it's fine. Um. 
have no idea how this map looks, to be honest. But I think we're gonna rely heavily on, like, gonna turtle a bit. Um, how much is that? Is it 180? Okay. They wanted to build another sentry tower there. Oh, there's stone here as well. Okay. Cool. And gold. Okay, so this is a pretty solid uh, position right here. build a storage pit there. Then we can go get wood and everything from here, right? Okay. Good. Go up here and chop wood. Gonna need a lot more of that wood, to be honest. So I think we go kill these towers up here, and then I probably want to build some towers of my own up here. Maybe we even want to wall this off, if I'm gonna be honest. I think we probably do. Okay, well that's a kinda annoying position to, to be in. Okay, so we're gonna gather some gold here. Might have too many on that. We'll get some more on stone and so on. Okay. Cool. you can't get out of here. I'm just gonna build two towers here so we see what the hell's going on. I think I'd like uh, stables for a scout. Uh, so we don't really have that much of that going on. I'm gonna want to build a market as well. <clears throat> That's fine. At least if they're attacking from this side, I'll be warned way ahead of time, right? Which is what I want, which is like what I need right now. Probably should keep gathering stone actually. We should be getting all of these things. Okay. 
Okay. I think government center is next. We now have a whooping. Yeah, we're pretty much done with villagers as it is right now. We'll get that. A couple of houses around it as well. Yeah, we shouldn't be building any more um, any more houses at this point. So the question is, is this all open or? Oh wow, there's a lot more resources in here. That's so much gold. Then we have yellow up here. Okay, okay. I mean, I'd say that's a fairly good position to be in. I'm gonna be spreading out some towers here. And then each weapon range and accuracy. Yeah, I'm gonna snipe these guys out so hard, dude. They will have no chance. Not how many twelve hundred. Oh, that's something that we need a granary, by the way. Yeah, I don't want to build it there. We can build it here. It's a lot of resources. I'm not sure that upgrade is even worth it. I'll be honest. We did get missile range. And probably get these upgrades as well. They're econ upgrades, so why not? Okay. Okay. I mean, I think we chop more wood at this point. Maybe build a couple of houses here. I really don't like that that one came out on the side a bit there. I don't know how big their economy is, uh, how much troops they can build up, anything. I just know red had villagers so they can probably build troops like normal um which is a bit i don't know if i like that but i'm not gonna go um not gonna go there to destroy them that seems like um that seems like a waste of time, honestly. We can max out now. So... We do have all the important upgrades. And now we are just... Like hard chilling for wood. Don't want this tower in the middle of nothing. 
are you helping here? It's extremely weird. They do still have catapults. Stuff like that. can chop wood from there as well, right? Gonna retreat a bit here. Let's see if we can um, get a couple of more here. Uh, honestly, food is uh, not a priority right now. We got that. get to destroying the wonder I think they're building up too slowly for, um, for anything significant to be able to stop this especially with like 11 range it's pretty that's a lot of range. That's a lot of range. You guys are done with the gold. You probably need more gold though, so go, go up there. I don't think they're gonna stop this at all. Yeah, let's uh, chop wood down here maybe. I think we can probably just focus down the wonder at this point. Man, this mission was tough. I think this took. 10 to 15 restarts for me to do this mission just because the landing is so hard oh this is apparently the last mission of this campaign your victory over mithridates and his allies has recovered our eastern provinces and restored peace we now control most of the Mediterranean coastline although the sea itself is still rife with pirates who resist Roman rule with Greece and the East pacified, Rome can now turn to clearing the sea of these pirates and make the Mediterranean a truly Roman lake. Nice. I think that's the sixth campaign that we complete now. But um, yeah, this is going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and have a really nice day.